exterior. So we are the connection between Back Bay and Longwood with a gateway. This is where the point actually intersects with Boylston Street and Brookline Ave. Now, here in the front, we're going to have a public entrance because there is going to be a restaurant and retail on the first floor, and there will be some retail on the second floor. But this right here is the, the landmark building. Really. You're right there. Can you see? Can you see? Right there. So there's Ken. <laughs> um, so on Brookline Ave, there's going to be two entrances. This right here is 200 Brookline Ave, and that's going to be the entrance to the luxury rentals. This entrance is 188 Brookline Ave, which is going to be the entrance to the condo. So two separate entrances, two separate lobbies, two separate banks of elevators. The second floor is retail and shared amenities, which we'll get into. Floors 3 through 17 are 240 rentals. Floor 18 is also shared amenities. And then 19 through 29 will be the condos. And on the 30th floor is our rooftop deck. <coughs> if you were to purchase parking, or if you have a unit that had parking comes with it, you would drive in right here, this opening. And the parking is underneath the Trilogy building. Because of the shape of the land, we couldn't fit the parking underneath piers. So we have a designated spot underneath the trilogy. When you, when you go down the ramp, you're on level P3. What you would do is walk through, go through some doors, go through a hallway, take what's called a jump elevator up, and then over to the hallway of piers. So in other words, you don't have to go outside to get from your car to the lobby, which that's the most important thing. If you have packages, we'll have a curb cut right here, a doorman that can help anybody with their packages. Now, if you're coming in off of Brookline Ave, you're gonna be stepping into the lobby. A doorman will greet you. Again, we have 24 seven concierge. Now, CBT is the local architect that did the design for the finishes and the interior units. So they hand selected black marble, all the furnishings, the rugs. Um, this is gonna be an archway which will light up you can see the nice contemporary lighting. This is a saying from the Isabel Stewart Gardner Museum, which has to do with art. So as you come walking forward, there's gonna be a wall of art, interesting artwork, and then that's where your elevator's gonna be. If you were to park, you would be coming from this way, and then you jump on the elevator right there. This is the second floor. This is shared amenity space. This is where the fitness center will be. So you'll have 2,300 square feet of the um, of the gym with the you know looking hardwood hardwood looking floors again contemporary lighting floor to ceiling glass windows to let the light in state of the art equipment um, there's going to be mirrored columns mirrored walls in the back here there's going to be a 475 square foot yoga studio um, there's going to be some interesting LED lights also on this floor there's a 130 square foot dog spa so it is pet friendly. Again, you have floors three through 17 of the rentals. This is the 18th floor, another shared amenity space, over 6,000 square feet. This is where you're gonna see your game room, where, where you have shuffleboard, pool tables, ping pong tables. There's a, a great room in front, which will have a prep kitchen, lounge seating, television sets, you know, uh, fireplaces. There's an executive room, if someone wants to have a meeting. There's also going to be um, another like library hangout spot. Now this is the 30th floor. This is our rooftop deck. The only space up here that's shared is the pool, right up here. Every other part of this floor is exclusively for the owners. So this is our VIP lounge. As you can see, we have hardwood floors, three-side fireplace, television sets, again, nice contemporary lighting, um, really nice lounge seating, and again, you're gonna just enjoy the phenomenal views from the 30th floor because you have, again, a floor to ceiling wall of glass surrounding you. This is the spot you probably saw outside. So this is, um, you know, another spot that you can come out, hang out at the end of the day, have a glass of wine. There's some outdoor space you can enjoy during the summer months. This right here um, is another very thoughtful piece that CBT designed. It's supposed to be more of an affinity looking pool. It's actually a glass tile um, that's gonna run out to the deck. And the thought behind it was bringing in the fire, the air, and the water all in the same space because it's, it's 
supposed to be good feng shui. <laughs> Here's our library. Again, really nice um, upscale furnishings with the, with the stainless steel trim, contemporary lighting, interesting art. And this doorway is the passageway to get out to the spot that we were looking at. Now, I have another shot of the 30th floor from another angle. We thought we, it would be nice to actually see it from this angle when we take the roof off so you can see underneath. Now, this is covered. That would be our, our VIP lounge. Again, there's more seating back here. Uh, we can play cards, we have game night. As you come around, this is the outdoor space. So lounge seating, fire pits, gas grills, a tabletop with chairs. That covered spot is the library. Now this right here is our rooftop deck. Um, as you can see, it has the hardwood. Now some of this is covered. Um, back here, you know, would be covered. Um, we see the fire pit and the lounge seating. Then we have these decorative white screens and plenty of lounge seating. And this is our geometric sh uh, shaped pool, which again would be shared along with the hot tub. Now as you come along this side of the building, I'm not sure if you've heard of these, but we're the only place in Boston. These are our sky cabanas. There's 12 of them. They come with a wet bar and electricity. So they range anywhere between 160 to 230 square feet, um, and it's there for purchase. So an owner can actually own a piece of the sky up here. So they're partly covered, partly a deck space? Well, it's, it, it, what, what there are is there's privacy fences in between. So part's wood and part is the frosted glass because you don't want to obstruct your view. Is there a roof over part of it? No, it's all outdoors. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they come all along the side of the building. We do have a few that are sold. And do you provide a furniture package so they all sort of look the same or is everyone going to do their own thing? Everyone's going to do their own. That's the plan so far. I would say just the opposite myself. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise it would be very mishmash. I don't know who's going to see them other than yeah. them, but. Mm -hmm. So they face south, and the other side, are the common deck faces the river? Yeah, so this is the A. Um, sorry, well, it's the name of the, the floor plan. It, this is the, the point, the peak. So that faces Longwood Medical, which is west. I can show you from another angle so you can understand what you know they are in terms of the views. Because what we have that we can show owners or buyers coming in, we actually had a drone come in from the 30th floor and it's actually live. <coughs> my, I'm losing my battery. That's the plane right there. So this is the views you're gonna get from that rooftop. Wow. They're phenomenal, it really is. So we also have, that's a picture at dusk. We also have a picture during the day. So depending on which way you want to face, that's south, south facing, so you're going to get the river and you're going to get uh, Cambridge. Come around the end with necklace, along with medical. So when we look at the homes, Say someone, for an example, wants to come in and they want to see a two bed plus den. So we click on two bed plus den and they light up where they are in the building. So this is the G unit. What we can do first, <clears throat> is, so that's the start of the view. So that's north. Right. Well, that right there is going to be east. That's east, yeah. So that's that side of the building, and it's, you know, you're going to get the Emerald necklace. Now this is a corner unit, so you have phenomenal views on the G. It's more of a panoramic, and you're going to end close to the Longwood Medical. But now, and then what we can do is we bring up the floor plan so we can walk them through each room and mm -hmm. understand the plan. Got it. Now if you want to see the other side, for an example, let's go back. If someone wants to see a two bed, we'll go to the other side of the building, which is the K unit. K unit is facing south, so you're going to get views of the city. See that? Yeah. And then you stop. It's not a corner unit, so it's not going to be as wide of a view. But you know, you do get the emerald necklace, which is great because you know that nothing will ever ever be built on the on the emerald necklace, yeah. which is nice. And then again, we click and we can go through the floor plan. Now we do have these, which are floor plates. Now this shows um, the layout. 
Now floors 19 through 27 are what we call the typical floor plate. It's the exact same plate going all the way up. So there's 11 units per floor, and the, they range between junior one beds at 860,000, and we go up to the three bedroom, which is around 2.9 million. Um, obviously, as you go up the building, when your view gets better, it's gonna have a premium to that. Um, and then we have the penthouses, which are on 28, 29. They get larger, obviously, so there's only five per floor, so we have 10 penthouses altogether. They come with fireplaces, most of them come with balconies, um, but all the units have high end finishes, wolf appliances, Sub-Zero, Bosch, Miele, hardwood floor throughout. So that's the guts of the, of the building. Nice. Um, and then when we have buyers come in, we really get more into pricing and condo fees. And I mean, I know you guys are on a limited time, but uh, if you have anyone in mind, we'd love to give them a whole presentation. Great. So what's your condo fees rate? We're at 88 cents. 88. Yeah, uh, which is really good compared yeah. to a lot if, if yeah. you yeah. get yeah. here with the Pierce Platinum and the, the, all the amenity space. Mm -hmm. Um, if you want, some units come with parking. That first unit I saw, I showed you, the G unit, that would come with parking. If you want to purchase parking, it would be, depending on the size of the space, like a full space would be 175000 What do these K units start at? The, the, you can get this right under 1.7. Okay. With parking? No. Okay. Parking addition 175 Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, the parking is what? 175 For a full spot. We do have some compact spaces that are less expensive, but... Got it. What's the unit um, that's on the tip, right at the tip? That's the, the A unit. That's our largest. That's our largest unit on the typical plan, uh -huh. meaning nineteen to twenty-seven, and that's a three bed. So let me show you that. Well, it's about eighty-eight cents, which is what. Um, well, it depends on the square footage. Um, Eleven hundred square feet times eighty-eight. Yeah, about 800? Yeah. So let me show you the A unit. So the A unit has basically windows on three sides. Well, yeah. Wait till you see this. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Susan showed it to us. Yeah. All right. So you start here. Yeah. Yeah. That was the first So you get view. the city. I don't want to go too fast because I don't want to give you vertigo, but. Yeah. So that's, you know, you can see the, <clears throat> excuse me, the blue hills in the background. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's the LMA. We're coming on. Brookline Ave. Got it. And what did those start at? 2.9. 2.9. With parking. Yes. Yeah. Is there an option for a second spot? Or yes. Okay. Yeah. So they're, um, they're all three bedrooms. The point. Yes. And then we we'll see that that see that flag. Uh -huh. That's the landmark. Got that's it. where you are. And then this side you get the Charles. Uh -huh. So you get everything. Yeah. With the, you don't get as much of the city. You don't get Fenway Park. Mm -hmm. um, because that would be the G unit on the other side. Yeah. But it's phenomenal, it, you know, yeah. you get the best of everything, so. Can I see the floor plan for this one? Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Perfect. Yeah, wow. Yeah, almost 1,900. Um, the, the, the penthouse ceiling heights are close to 11 feet, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, they're nine to 10 feet, depending on the room. Um, this right here, just so everyone is aware, I, I think the battery is going on this. But see those dark brown spots? It won't show up. Those are architectural columns. They're not going anywhere. Yeah. There's sure. one or two per, the, <laughs> per home. Sure. Yeah. Okay. But this is a great, great space. And if Now, does anybody have a client that's at the penthouse? Perhaps. Yes. So okay. those are duplexes, right? Nope. No, they're not. Okay, no. so each floor. So I just want to show you this one. We already have the C unit. Let me show you the plan. 29C is sold, but 28C is not. So I want to show you. This is a corner unit. So C is facing it. north, right? C well, is this is a corner unit. Okay. So you're going to get, <clears throat> okay, so here we are in Landmark. So you get the Charles. Which is south. Mm -hmm. Now you get this shot, which the men go nuts. <laughs> On the Fenway, the way, and then you get the city. This is gorgeous. We just sold one of these at 1850 price per square foot, and this is the plan. So it's a two bed plus 10. 
It's very, very efficiently laid out. People love it. It's beautiful. Over 2,500 square feet. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. and one of these sold for how much? Um, well, actually, it was the, uh, the lower floor was 1850, which is the G unit. But this one, um, I'd have to check. The penthouses are closer to $2,000 price per square foot. So this would be closer to five. How many square feet? Oh, 20. Yep, 20, yep. The, the most expensive penthouse would be the A unit, mm -hmm. which is a three bed. It's, it's yep. 2,700 square feet, and that would be 5.3. That's the most expensive unit we have. And then usually they want to purchase a cabana, so you have to add on about 300 grand for the cabana. Yeah. Are you getting a lot of Red Sox players? You know, it's funny. The first person I met with was the was the CEO of the Red Sox, and I kind of figured it, he wasn't going to do anything then because you know we were two, we're over two years out, or we were over two years out at that point, and the Sox get traded so often that they don't want to make that investment this you know two years in advance. So we feel that they're, they're going to come when the building is closer to completion, because it would only make sense, yeah. you know, for them to do that. But they would definitely be doing this as a pied de terre, or maybe even one of the penthouses, mm -hmm. you know. Great. Do the penthouses get two parking spaces? Um, most of them, yes. They also get uh, fireplaces and uh, outdoor space. This one has a balcony, mm -hmm. so they don't necessarily need to purchase the cabana uh, because they do have their own private outdoor space in their own unit. So not all units have fireplaces. The, okay, the A unit uh -huh. on the typical floor plate, that large one, uh -huh. and the penthouses. The other ones do not have a fireplace. Nice. So the penthouses are on two floors, right? It's 28 and 29, each of them on one level. There's how five many? per floor, so oh, 10 all together. And you've sold how many of those? Uh, two. Two. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome.